Todd here. Connie here. And we are in Lexington, North Carolina, here at the Childress Winery. And uh, yeah, we're going to start a series of wineries in North Carolina. There's some in South Carolina we want to visit too, yeah. but we're going to start here at the Childress Winery, and it, it looks really nice. So let's, let's go. go. This is the parking lot here. It's Sunday afternoon, and they are busy. And uh, we've read up on this place, and it looks awesome. They have all kinds of events going on all the time, and and uh, just the winery looks beautiful. The vineyards look beautiful. We drove in. You saw my drive-in part, and uh, just amazing vineyards here. So yes, yeah, Childress uh, Winery. And of course, it's uh, owned by the Childress family of the racing dynasty and uh yeah the team was amazing and uh their uh, garages aren't too far from here i'm gonna walk over here and check this fountain out and get a cool shot of the vineyards and here's the main entryway here to the winery beautiful fountain right here too flowers are beautiful too all around here this is actually something we wanted to cover for a long time the wineries it's kind of a cool couple thing to do too or you know, if you're a significant other spouse or uh, come here and enjoy the day going to wineries and uh, just enjoying the uh, wine and food and uh, yeah this is beautiful here you know walk over here take a look kind of an overlook of the uh, vineyards look at that they go way down the hill too and they go way over here we'll get some shots of that too but uh yeah it's beautiful through here nice lush green so right here you got the uh, directional thing here, tasting room, bistro and pavilion, and the courtyard. And we are entering right here inside the building. Shows you the hours and what's opened. And look at these doors. It's got the coat of arms of the children's family too on the door. And let's go inside. Cool. Wow, look at this. This is beautiful in here. There's a balcony up there too. Another beautiful fountain here. And there's the wine store. Of course, we're going to walk all through that. Look at this. Kind of a French and Italian mixture of the winery look to it. This is really nice. I love the display over here too. This fountain's really nice. This is amazing. Look at this. Here's the store. You can uh, then taste testing here as well yeah look at this this is beautiful and over here this is a nice display right here too love that and then over here the banquet room kind of chit chatting look at this very old european hey how you doing oh, look at this Come. hey meredith we're enjoying the uh, children's winery it's beautiful Oh, it's great. It's the adult Disney World. Yeah, it is. Exactly. The adult Disney World. Oh, I love the theming. It's amazing. Oh, wow. The old old European look to it. And here are some of their awards, too, for their wine. Check that out. I can't wait to taste some of their wine. But look at this. Like, very Italian, old country feel to it in here. Great. I can only imagine what they do in here at Christmas time, too. So, Meredith was telling me they do big over the top for Christmas. And they have a huge dinner and everything here, too. And uh, we'll be back for Christmas because, uh, yeah, I want to see how they decorate for Christmas here the Christmas trees and the, all the lights. But I'm just looking at the grapes right here on the archway. That's so cool. And this is like the first room you come into when you enter. And if you look up here, more awards for their wines. And this is called the Lobby Bar. It looks like you pay everything here as well for your drinks. You head this way. You can order here too, down the line. Uh, oh, it's beautiful through here. And the upstairs is cut off, but, uh, but it's nice up there too, of course. For, even with what I've shown you, kind of sneak peek. Yeah, 
Disney World for adults. I love that. That's great. It's got an elevator here. Oh, here's another room here. It's another bar. It's adjacent to that room we were just in. So they do have they do have beers and uh, look at the gourmet ice. Nice. So they do have other drinks. So you don't just have wine. You're not stuck to that. So you do have uh, other beverages to choose from. But every every other room in here is really nice. There's your restrooms here. And the uh, entryway to your restroom is off here as well. Elevator going up. There's your restrooms. And this is called the Terrace. The signature tasting is offered here daily. Please see the host. And here's where your tasting's done, right here. So I'll have all the information too. I just want to kind of show you up here in the wine tasting. Here's the outside. We'll walk out there too. Check this out. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And the venues go way down there. And all the geese are down there in the lake. We'll, we'll walk over there. But I want to show you all these rooms with the wine tasting. And you have to reserve. If you notice here, here's the family. Um, two people at 2 o'clock. This is their area. So you do have to call in advance and reserve a table for your wine tasting. So beautiful here. And she'll bring you the wine and she goes way back here too. We'll walk over here and check it out. Got this really nice seating area here too. And here's some more of your wines. Okay, the cheese. And your salami, your meats here that you can have with your uh, tasting. Wow, look at all these. There's finish line. I heard that's really good. Yeah. The dessert wine. We'll probably pick up something like that. That'd be fun to pick up to bring home all of the dessert wines. See so all the choices here that you have that you can purchase. And other things. Other accessories. A little outside seating over here. But yeah, it's beautiful here. Look at the timber. I love that timber. Especially on the ceiling too. But yeah, this is your tasting area. This is where you would reserve your table to uh, taste the wine. And that's pretty cool too. Three. That's all it's called. Earnhardt's number. And that's from the Children's Vineyards right here. And so we're, since we're on a, like a day outing, it's a, uh, the chocolate shots for $4. I might try that too. But you can do your single tasting right here. No reservations, walk up and uh, order what you want get a taste of the wine and that's probably what we're gonna do I just want to show you this beautiful room and this is also where you would purchase your wine to bring home with you this is the one I'm thinking about <laughs> right here it's $28 for the finish line bottle here it's a great dessert wine and there's your number three rosé for 16 get your white 16 and your red here for 16 and the Childers Alberino, and that one's 18. So the prices aren't too bad at all. And I'm a good, I'm a, I'm a red wine drinker. I love my red wines. But look at all these different choices you have here of wines. Check that glass out. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they're all neat glasses. These are great. There's a Merlot right here. And these are by the glass right here. And that's where we're at. We're at the little bar here. We're going to try. A glass of wine and enjoy the uh, outside as well but um yeah here are all your different ones i'm a dry red guy personally but they do have the sweets the dry whites and the flights yeah right here yeah sangria so they have a nice selection of different drinks for sure and always look at the top shelf too there's all their award-winning wines look at all that all the medals they've won for each of those types of wines they make here I'm ready to dig in to my glass of Merlot in just a minute. So Connie has her sangria. We got some chocolate and I got my Merlot. And you are allowed to walk around with your wine. And we're going to do that. We're going to walk outside and enjoy the day and the sights and everything and the vineyards. Yeah, this is really nice. I love it here. Now, this is right up my alley. Check it out. They do have cigars here, too. And the cutters and the butane lighters. So, yeah, go with that right there. They do have some stogies. So not only wine and beer, check it out. They have uh, coffee, black powder coffee right here. 
So if you are in the mood for some coffee, there you go, which I would be for sure trying some of this. And we are just finding all kinds of treasures. Actually, Connie is finding these. Look at this one. It's bourbon aged coffee right here. Devil's Tribute. And then over here's another one right here. Oh, man, that sounds so good, too. And that is the Angel's Wrath <laughs> bourbon aged coffee. So if you don't want to eat here, you can get a snack here with your wine, bring it outside. And great for a couple to bring and enjoy outside with your wine. Yeah, save a little money too. You don't have to eat at the uh, restaurant, the bistro. Yeah, just pick up a nice little uh, pack here of food, uh, you know, the different meats and cheeses to go with your wine. So we grabbed one of those snacks. You got the cheese and the meat, salami, and uh, go down here and find a place to sit. But we are up in there. It's a tour group going right here. So there are tours that you can take. We might eventually do that, but we want to just come out and enjoy the day and uh, relax. Going down here, we're going to find a umbrella, umbrella, umbrella covered table and just eat our treats and our chocolate. And uh, they have an outside little bar down here too, it looks like. The live music going on. Isn't this beautiful? This is really nice. Yeah, there's a little outside right there. find a place to sit down yeah it's very good yummy kind of chewing into it <laughs> so yeah we just love it out here here's that tour group again coming through just very relaxing out here peaceful And this is a shot of the inside of the bistro. Yeah, right here. They do all kinds of parties and events here. It's really nice. Nice and cool in here, too. It's getting kind of hot outside. Got this coolers of wine right here as well. But yeah, this is inside. If you want to do an event of the inside of the bistro. Oh, I'm going to check that car out, too, that truck. Of course, I had to get a shot of the truck here. The Richard Childress Vineyards, licensed in North Carolina. Established in... 2004 and I love the barrels of wine in the back of the truck right here that's really cool it looks like they have uh, some desserts over here too oh uh, yummy these look great look like they're filled up with different flavors too like the amaretto there you got the double latte the milk nutty this looks great the champagne chalk cookie triple chocolate showgirl confetti dark swiss mint and then mint chocolate chip oh the mint yeah that looks good <laughs> yeah the chocolate we bought we gotta wait we get home because it melted in her in connie's uh bag here's a shot of the uh menu for the brunch menu at the uh bistro and uh, i'll have a link to it of course in the description so you can check out what type of foods they have they got the shrimp and grits which I love shrimp and grits. Get another angle here of the bistro. Everybody looks like they're enjoying their meals. We'll come back and definitely try it out. Uh, probably this fall. This is the outside here. I just wanted to get a different angle. There's the main building back there we walked through, which is super nice inside. But we're gonna head down to the uh, little pond down here and see the vineyards. And who is playing right now is Evan Blackerby. And there's his QR code. He does a lot of live music here, but he is awesome. Very entertaining. <laughs> Connie's taking a picture of this wonderful group here of ladies enjoying their day here at the winery. Yeah, we love doing stuff like that for people. So they're having a great time. Great bunch of girls right here. These look like they're adding these two to their winery, so that's what they're gonna do. Produce all the wine. A nice area right here to sit down and enjoy the lake. Gotta watch out for the, the geese poop. Looks like they're enjoying themselves too around the pond here. And we gotta again watch out for the, the goose uh, mines they've laid. 
I do walk out here. Of course, no swimming. I'll walk out here and enjoy this little area here. Hey guys, here he is right there, swimming off. But they have all the vineyards over here. It's beautiful. Right now the sun is uh, being covered by the clouds, so it feels good out here with all the sun. There they go swimming off. Hey, goosey gooseys. And there's the fountain over here. It's beautiful. Get a shot of uh... There you go. That's beautiful. The vats right there, too. All emptied out. Getting ready probably to be put back together. Fill back up some more wine and other uh, wonderful, delicious beverages. There's Connie right there. She's got her cup of water because it is a little bit hot now. It's about 90 or so. So, but it has a nice breeze. It feels good. I do highly recommend coming over here and uh, enjoying this vineyard and uh, the atmosphere, the just everything. It's great here. They got the corn cantina here with their specials. Look at that turkey bacon free. Uh, is it a back wet? I believe it's called and you got the uh all these little other trees here too and that culotta slushy right here which i've seen a lot of people get that in the red sangria and get it right here and they're lined up waiting for their treats And this is the parking for the bistro and we parked over on that side of the main entrance over here and there's more vineyards over there as well so they do have other gifts here too we have postcards very whimsical postcards that you can get you have jewelry and Little bags for your wine bottle, earrings. There's some coffee mugs and tumblers right here that you choose from. Yeah, all kinds of cool stuff. You got little jewelry, stuff for your hair. You've got uh, stationary stuff. Stuff for your hair there, too. <laughs> the little bags. Of course, you get your wine here. I kind of want to show you the other stuff they have. More coffee mugs, your wine glasses, bottle openers here for your uh, wine bottle. Got the candles here too. As soon as you use that candle up, you can turn it into a wine glass. Coffee mugs. I'm really thinking about getting some, trying some of that uh, coffee too. I got uh, plushies here as well, little fancy ones. All kinds of gifts. You know, also got the swag, you know, shirts, sweaters, t shirts, ball caps. Got a sale going on right now. 50% off on some stuff. Very nice. You got frames too. And I just love the inside of the store here. The theming is amazing. I love it. Very old European look to it. And you got these blue gem sunglasses and accessories. Yeah, these are real fun sunglasses all along here too. And turn around here, see what we got. And you got some more. So if you forget your sunglasses or you broke them, 
you can get them here at the winery. Visky glass right here. Check out these decanters right here. Really nice. Yeah, those are great. You can put wine or your whiskey in there or bourbon. Any type of liquor or liqueur right there. Got these fancy visky wine glasses too. And you can also pick up a cool sticker for your car that you visited here. Check that out. Childress Vineyards right there. And you guys all get I love the Childress Vineyards. And of course, Lexington is known for its barbecue. So you can get the big old pig. You have accommodations here. It's a Holiday Inn Express and Suites here on the uh, Vineyards ground. And uh, so if you want to reserve a room and go have a dinner at the Bistro, yeah, it's perfect for that. You know, just stay here overnight or, how, or whatever, how long you want to go, you know, and stay. Because Winston-Salem and Lexington is close by. So if you want to enjoy Winston-Salem or even the Lexington barbecue, you have that close by as well. But yeah, it'd be great accommodations here if you want to spend the weekend here at the Vineyards. And we wanted to thank you guys for joining us here at Childress Vineyards. It was awesome. Yes. And I hope you uh, enjoyed the walk around so you can see all, everything that it has to offer. But it's beautiful here. We'll be back again. Probably closer to fall when it's a lot cooler. We'll come back. Yeah. Maybe even try out the bistro because the food there actually was pretty reasonable. And we will try it out. What do you think? I loved it. It's so beautiful out here. I'm ready to come back. <laughs> yep. We had a good time. So, yeah, so, we did. We uh, got other vineyards coming up. We want you to experience with us as well. So, again, it's going to be part of a whole vineyard series in our playlist. All right, guys, you take care. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.